for Indy coming all the way back. Halliburton. Nemhard away. Got it, baby. Got it. The rookie <laughs> has been signed. Yeah. They made some big shots, you know. I think overall, uh, you know, we just got to do a better job. Everything has to go wrong in order for you to lose a game like that, and everything went wrong. You know, they, they took the game from us. Oh, boy, so much drama out in L.A. Good thing uh, you still have LeBron James. No Dame Dalla in this one. The Trailblazers are 4-6 and six without him. Nice pass from LeBron. Give it right back to me. My goodness, turn off the lights when you leave. This looks familiar, though. So we're going to flash back eventually to 2018. Look at Nurkic there in the telestration. Puts the hand up and he says, oh, no. I'm thinking of March 2018 when LeBron was on the Cavs and he dumped all over me. I'm disturbed. I'm depressed. I'm inadequate. I got it all. LeBron, how many times have we seen that? Looking like he's 25, under 15 seconds left. Simons, look at Sharp. With the putback, 16 off the bench. These two were the loudest, gentlemen. Sidesteps Bryant, triggers the three. Oh! Get on up for the downstroke. Shaden Sharp scrapes the sky with a right-hand hammer. Oh! Get on up with the downstroke. I've never heard that one before, but I like it. I'm going to start saying it. And then Lakers up one. Uh-oh. Westbrook. From way outside, the step back three. The Lakers bench outscored Portland 37-21. Now, minutes later, half-court shot contest. The fan nails this. The second time it's happened this week. This one, 25 Gs, and then there were 75 Gs. And then Westbrook says, well, that's got to rub off on me, right? Yes, sir. And I do it professionally. MGM, they're, they're going to pass get off. get for that? Yeah, probably. The MGM has to pass off that sponsorship to Del Taco or something. Lakers, 128-10. You could have made better decisions on a basketball court where you're not being heckled as much. There is some culpability that you have for that, although they're classless and whoever was threatening this family, I think, need to be found and arrested personally. That's just me. But being a Los Angeles Laker, wearing that purple and gold, the thing that's most alarming about this season is just the absence of pride that appears to be exist when it comes to wearing that purple and gold. And if LeBron James, LeBron James, the player on the court numbers wise, what he's doing still phenomenal, but boy, has his leadership taken a hit because he doesn't seem to have an effect on the culture in a positive way in LA. There's certain things you can't tolerate. And for them to lose 12 of their last 15, they are 0-9 since the All-Star break when LeBron doesn't score 50. 0-9 when LeBron doesn't score 50. They won the two games he's, he scored over 50-plus are the two games that they've won, and that's it. That's what we have to pay attention to, and it's this way. He wanted Russ. He wanted Anthony Davis perpetually injured. You got a chip. Congrats on that. But what, what we've seen disintegrating before our very eyes – this is going to stay with them for a long time. And Russell Westbrook has to go out of L.A. Oh, yeah. They don't want to I, 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 They don't want to say real quick. It, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, in, in both your points, yes, Russell Westbrook averaging under 18 points is lowest in the league since his second year in the league. But I will say this. A lot of Russ's game is built on his confidence, his ego, his swagger. And since he's it's not gone. having that on the court, maybe he's trying to carry it over to some of these press conferences so he can still show he's got a little Rationale doesn't himself. matter, though. Yes. It's what you it's, it's the perception, not the rationale behind it. It's what you're, you're allowing that perception to exist about you. They don't even care right now. They want him gone. I'm talking about the city. They want him gone. gone. And that's not me. I don't care. It's they interesting, want to go. though, in, in cities like Boston, Chicago, Philly, New York, when a team is bad, fans double, triple down on you. Hear their venom. Like, you know, we, sports yeah. radio in New York, if people come at you, they attack you. It almost feels like in L.A., and I lived in L.A. for a couple of years, like you become irrelevant. It's like, yeah. oh, okay, like you just never yeah, have different, it. yeah. Right? So it almost feels like the irrelevancy has been replaced with the Russell Westbrook reality show. Yes. And a reality show is all this extra stuff. Here's the thing that was the most disappointing thing about it last night for me, Stephen A., because as a hooper like, and people in life, you go through ruts. Things yeah, happen, happens. right? You have to keep fighting it. And I see the mentality of a fighter yes. at the post And I think Russell will be better next year. I think he's going to be better next year. But when you go against your arch nemesis, and we know the history. Like, yes. I I've seen Patrick Beverly on J.J. Reddick's podcast where he's like, yo, this man tarnished my career. 
he changed the league's perception of me. Yeah. Right? Yes. So when you go against somebody that you know is bringing that type of venom, how do you not rise to that challenge, Stephen right. A.? How do you not come in that game and say, you know, I heard them last mm-hmm. night because I'm watching you guys in the yes. I'm watching the game. Right. They're going under pick and rolls around the elbow area. Right. Saying he's with us. That's right. He's, he's at with the us. elbow area. He's with us. And my man is catching the ball, jabbing, like not knowing what. How do you not at least have 15, I, I can, 20 shots? I can, answer, I, can answer, I, I, can answer, I can answer that point. In part, it's Russell Westbrook's fault, and its part is that he's broken. He's defeated. Russell Westbrook has no confidence. We've never said this about him. We've in never the said of the ever. Game he has no yeah. confidence in his perimeter shot. I said attack or kick it. Attack or kick it. Don't shoot any jumpers. Just attack the basket. But when they're saying he's with us, you're trying to prove them wrong, and you can't, and you know it now. You have no confidence in your jump shot. But the bigger problem is that, again, every little thing you do, you're doing this. Every little thing you do, you're reminding people of what you were like when you had the upper hand. Mm-hmm. And they didn't forget. And now they coming for you. And your response is to go into the media and appear nonchalant. If Russell Westbrook had that same passion at the podium that he has on, on the, the court, court, it would be forgivable. Yes. Because this is a guy that just, he can't get it, but damn it, he's trying, he's trying, he's trying. But even though we know he never cheats us with effort, because he never cheats us with effort, you cannot go onto the podium as a member of the Los Angeles Lakers acting indifferent and apathetic to your circumstances. Mm-hmm. You do that, they're going to say, that ain't what we about. Who the hell is this? And the thing that makes it worse for him is that he's one of them. He's a Los he's Angeles. From there. He's like, they're like, you know better. How could you be this way? And LeBron and is dropping 50-plus points they, at 37 they, 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 to get your they, team They're wins. looking at him and they're saying, how could you be this way? You're supposed to know better. Listen, I'll give you the last, this is the last point. Everybody know one of the biggest fans of the world is Snoop Dogg. That's my dog now, okay? He wants to come on first take. I've held him off. Because I'm afraid of what he'll say. I got to make sure this is FCC Airways. It's FCC Airways. I mean, when this dude, Snoop Dogg talks about the Lakers, it, it, it's worse than some of his songs. I, I, and his song's off the chain, but I'm just talking about cussing. I'm just, this dude is furious. Furious. And I'll be like, you come on. <laughs> just, just, just take your time. That, I, I'm, Ice Cube didn't call him yet. I know he's disgusted. List goes on and on. I ain't seen Denzel at the Laker game. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg, I ain't seen him. Mm. Ain't nobody we, nobody we want to see these guys. You understand? They want to see LeBron, but they don't want to see these guys. It's a level of disgust. And I'm telling you right now, for Russell Westbrook to be from there and, and to be nonchalant in these post-game conferences after performing this way, People are furious. The last thing I'll furious. say real quick, Stephen A., is that I, I, I know this is going to happen because people do that, and I will combat it. I will fight it because Russell Westbrook is a Hall of Famer. Yes, he is. And I know how hard it is to do what he did at the level. Can't take away what he's done. Staying over the years. Can't take away what he's but done. But this narrative about empty stats and no championship, there will be a part of people that will look at his legacy as that. Yeah, and all he had to do was come in the post-game conference and not be nonchalant. I know, be man. just as passionate, and he would have been forgiven.